we have been to talk about uh, the english structure as you know that in english uh, here there is the structure as we say subject verb and object and uh, along with that i tell you that each and every language has its own structure so if you see if you analyze the structure of uh, first language so that is s o v that is the structure of uh, first language and if you analyze the structure of urdu so that is also the same like we say uh, the, the structure of urdu language so that is also s o v structure i give you an example like uh, if i say me english bolta hu so you see here in this sentence if we analyze the structure so this is the me is the subject english is the object and bolta hu is the verb so it uh, it is like that structure s o v the urdu structure now we if we translate this sentence into pashto so it will be like this zo english why so you see uh, zo is the subject english is the opt uh, english is the object and why is the verb so it is also like uh, the same structure as urdu s o v structure but if we come to english so the structure of english is s v o what does it mean s means subject v means verb and o means object so in english first of all we will use subject then we will use verb and then we will use object so let me write an example then example i translate into english it will be so i speak english so in this sentence we can see that i is the subject speak is the verb and english is the object so this is uh, the structure of english first of all whenever you make sentences whenever you write sentences or you speak sentences so first of all you have to put subject and uh, then you have to put verb and lastly you have to put uh, object if there are additional information you can also add that like the adverbs or the complement so it depends upon the sentence at that time so now i'm going to tell you that uh, what subject is so we say that subject is the doer of an action in this sentence you see i is the doer of this action of speaking so that is why we call it subject and verb is we say that uh, every action is called verb or a word which shows an action is called verb so in this sentence you see speak is the verb because it uh, describes an action and uh, i'm going to tell you about the importance of verb that verb is the most important part in a sentence it's like a backbone and we can say it's like a soul okay as a uh, backbone our soul and human body is uh, and human body is important so same is the case with verb verb plays an important role in a sentence and lastly uh, last but not the least that is the Uh, you know english then is object so what is object object is the receiver of an action so in this sentence uh, that is the object if i say another sentence uh, i say i broke the glass so in this sentence you see i am the subject broke is the verb and the glass is the object because uh, it receives the effect of the action the effect is received by the glass first the glass was broken but in the second phase the glass was broken that got changes so that is why we call it object so this was all about uh, subject or object the english for uh, the english structure so i hope you got it and thank you so much for watching this video